like the ADJ PC4 is a simple power switching solution. We'll take it apart coming up next. Thanks for watching. It'd be really awesome if you hit the like button, consider subscribing, and please share these videos anywhere you can. Links below to DCSoundUp.com and to join the Patreon crew. So occasionally there is a need to power and switch a few things on and off from a central location. In my case, it's a set of reference monitors and some lights that I use that don't have the convenient, easy remote control switch that some of the other ones do. I recently watched Dr. Mix's video where he set up his entire studio with all of his gear, everything on smart plugs that he can power on and off entire rooms or individual pieces of gear with voice commands. And maybe when we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'll do something like that too. But for right now, a $25, uh, solution is way more in line with the budget that I have to work with. And I'm also perfectly happy to avoid the headache that he dealt with trying to set all of that automation up. I cannot explain to you the frustration. The PC4 is incredibly simple and has a max rating for the entire unit of only 15 amps. So this is a light duty unit. Each channel is good for 10 amps individually. Yep, that's in focus. Obviously, you cannot run four 10 amp loads simultaneously or even two of them simultaneously on this unit as that would exceed the 15 amp rating on the unit's main breaker. Now, this seems to have alarmed and confused some buyers, and it should not be a cause for concern. The same thing is happening when you have a number of outlets in a bedroom, for example. Each outlet may be rated individually to handle a 15 or 20 amp load, but altogether, that group of outlets are connected to a single breaker at your panel that is also only rated for a 20 amp load. So you can't plug in hair dryers all over the room and run them all at the same time or vacuum cleaners clearly that would trip a breaker and that's exactly what's happening here the biggest complaints that other reviewers online noted were issues with the rocker switches either becoming stuck after some period of use or channels that just weren't working at all upon arrival after looking inside this one i would imagine that a good number of those issues where individual channels weren't working were from those insulated disconnect terminals uh, coming undone in transit and that could be a simple fix so are these switches a viable option if you need something like this? The reviews can be a little bit worrying with people talking about not running them uh, over the rating but still having things fail and other folks there's a couple of mentions of fires and it's hard to know what happened in any of those situations you know there's a person here saying that they had a Mackie amplifier plugged into it and that's why it uh, you know burned up or failed on them and obviously that wouldn't be an appropriate use for this uh, unless it's a very small Mackie amplifier that I'm not really aware of but these are a very light duty switch um, you know it's a it's a very light duty item and you just don't know what people were actually doing or if they were going off of any sort of measurements with these you know issues or if it was just you know what they think their appliance or uh, item that was plugged in was drawing I don't know what a typical failure rate for rocker switches like this should be in large quantities but the ones they're using don't seem to be the cheapest that I can find online but if you know where these fall in the range of quality amongst, you know, rocker switches of this type, let us know in the comments. But they feel pretty good to me. Uh, there aren't a million reviews saying they failed. It's just a handful of people. And that seems to be the failure mode for this unit. Either the switches go bad or it, a channel just doesn't work. Other common complaints include a few folks who were very surprised by the location of the connectors in relation to the switches on the actual unit, and maybe they've added better pictures uh, online since these complaints. Some of these are quite old complaints uh, because every picture I've found across the internet clearly shows where the switches and the outlets are in relation to one another. It seems like some folks are expecting for the switches and the outlets to oppose each other front to back, as opposed to uh, the switches being on the top if you're putting it on the desktop like a mixer and the uh, the outlets being on the back in that 
kind of sense. But all the photos I can find uh, show it pretty clearly now. So I don't think that's an issue you're going to have. Uh, but some folks, again, were caught out by the fact that the unit is slanted slightly. If you set it down on the desk like a mixer with those switches facing up, they do lean towards you a little bit. So if you're planning to put this into a rack or some other box, those two issues catching you off guard obviously could be a little bit frustrating. But it seems like they're advertised pretty clearly what's going on in all the photos I can find now. The Bigger Brother PC100A gets some of the same reviews about faulty switches and things not working out of the box, but at about the same percent uh, as this PC4 does from buyers who reviewed it. Some of the online reviews definitely look a bit worrying, but they are a relatively small percentage of how many of these things it seems have sold and even then been reviewed. These have been on sale, it seems, for almost forever, and it, you know who knows... Uh, how many they've sold over the years, but there's quite a few of them out there and it is a relatively small percentage. Now, I haven't found any evidence whatsoever that these are UL listed or that they've been tested by any laboratory for any reason at all. So if you're doing an installation or you work at a school or any sort of institutional uh, you know, situation like that, these might be disqualified for you right off the bat by not having that uh, UL listing. Depending on where you are in the world, those rules and requirements change, but in my experience, that can be a big factor if you're trying to purchase something for an installation, especially. Taking a closer look at how this one is built, we've got a grounded power cable that's only one meter long. Now, that's pretty short for any real world or professional use, and the PC100A only comes with a two meter long cable. So I would definitely like to see those be a bit longer if you're gonna take this out in the field. 15 foot cables on power conditioners and strips aren't uncommon, and they're very helpful to have that extra reach uh, when you're actually trying to use these things. From there, we have the ground connection to the chassis, live connecting to the breaker, and a fairly tidy pigtail work connecting everything else with insulated disconnect terminals. These are not terrifically secure terminals, though, and if you do come across a unit that isn't working properly, it would be a good idea to disconnect it from the main supply and take a look inside to see if one of these disconnects has worked its way loose. The insulating boots do look like they're long enough to prevent anything from shorting to the chassis if it did come loose and touch it somehow, but I wouldn't bet my life on that if I knew that there was a channel that wasn't working and potentially disconnected inside. With all that in mind, I think this unit is okay for around the desk, for light loads where it's just never going to move and it only needs to switch on or off a few things like some lights or LEDs or things like that. Just so everybody's clear, these videos are meant to be a closer look and a little more information for anybody who is curious and wants to know a little bit more about what's going on, especially when you see such a variety of reviews on stuff online. Please don't take my purchasing stuff like this as an endorsement or a recommendation. I hope you use the information and the pictures and the video and the closer look to make a decision for yourself whether or not it's appropriate for what you're doing. Uh, this unit that I have works okay for switching on a few LED lights. I can't tell you whether or not it's safe or the longevity of it uh, beyond that. So hopefully you'll be able to use this information though and get something out of it. So that's a quick look at the American DJ or ADJ PC4. Uh, this is a power center, not a power conditioner. They're very, very clear about that. PC means power center, and it is a central location to power a handful of very lightweight uh, items. So let me know if you have any experience with these or any of the others uh, like this. There's tons of them out there. There's some more generic ones. There's some higher name brand ones that are, uh, you know, useful with computer equipment. But let me know if you have any experience with this kind of stuff and which ones you like, which ones have treated you poorly, or if you have any fun horror stories about plugging things into these that you probably shouldn't have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.